Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day. Thanks for being here today with me. We've had a fabulous day together. Hopefully you've loved all my other guests. I'm going to wind up with a great guest. She's going to be talking about summer skincare tips. Dr. Caroline Robinson is here and she's going to give us some information. She's a dermatologist. Dr. Robinson, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Okay, so you're a board-certified medical and cosmetic dermatologist. You're working out of Chicago. So give us some information about uh, incorporating SPF into our daily routine and why it's important. Yeah, absolutely. So wearing sunscreen and practicing sun protection is one of the single most important things that we could do for our skin health. Um, A lot of people don't realize that when we're running errands, walking the dog or checking the mail, or even sitting indoors next to a window, we're getting sun rays and that cumulative exposure can actually put us at risk of both common skin changes like dark spots and wrinkles, but also at risk of skin cancer. And so incorporating it into our daily routine is going to be key. Okay. So why is it so important though, to have this SPF and how do we choose the right SPF? Yeah, so SPF stands for sun protective factor. And the American Academy of Dermatology actually recommends that you use an SPF 30 um, at, at least to protect your skin from the harmful effects of the sun. And we should also make sure that our sunscreen is broad spectrum because both UVA and UVB rays can harm the skin in different ways, uh, whether it's advanced skin aging, like the fine lines and wrinkles that we talked about, or whether it's putting our skin at risk for skin cancer. So it's so important to make sure that your sunscreen fits those parameters. And I think, and something I tell my patients often is that The other important thing is that you find a sunscreen that you love because this needs to be integrated into your daily routine. It's important that you love the way it feels, the texture of it, so that you want to wear it and it's not a burden. And I know that for my sensitive skin patients, I tend to recommend mineral sunscreens, but one of the challenges is that these can leave a cast on the skin. They don't really quite blend in the way that we want them to. And that's one reason why I love Olay Regenerous Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer with SPF 30 because it disappears into the skin. It's fragrance free and it's not going to be sticky. And so this is a great choice for those people who are a little bit wary about those sunscreens uh, that do do that. That that brings up a good question. So when I'm thinking, just say I've never worn sunscreen or I wear sunscreen, but should I have a consultation with my dermatologist before choosing a sunscreen? Because it's kind of like I see people with multiple vitamins. They kind of choose the one that they think they're going to like. Yeah, well, actually, this is one place where I think just get started, just getting started wearing a sunscreen is so huge. And then if you're experiencing challenges, then it's a great idea to check in and you know ask your dermatologist for recommendations. I know that my, like I mentioned, my sensitive skin patients, they tend to have irritation with chemical sunscreens. And so mineral sunscreen is a great choice. Um, also with the Olay Regenerist mineral sunscreen moisturizer, it actually has a hundred percent mineral sunscreen active. So it has zinc oxide and that's going to give you broad spectrum protection and hydration that is really safe for all skin types. I'm glad it's selling over the counter and makes it, that seems like it makes it more affordable. Where can yes. we go and find out more information? Cause I think people, um, want to have more information and we need some help in choosing sunscreen. We really do doctor. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So it's, it's actually under $30 and you can find it at Olay.com. There's also some great um, sun safe tips as well. And you can also find it at your local retailer. Thank you so much, Dr. Robinson, for being here and talking about a subject that's a little perplexing to a lot of us. Thanks for being my <laughs> guest on the Valder BB Show. You're so welcome. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.